one of the important things in the laboratory is also to identify uh, urgent samples. Uh, for example, theatres, any resuscitation, um, paediatric uh, intensive care. And for that reason, we have a dedicated analyzer which we use to get these results out quickly. Um, whereas a track will accommodate all routine samples and inpatients within a time frame. But with the uh, A&E, &E, we have a, a time frame of one hour. That includes receiving the sample and processing. Okay. Whereas for sample on the track, it could be several hours. It could be several hours. The other thing what we do is auditing. So we're continuously auditing samples. So every time a sample comes into the laboratory, it gets stamped. Which anything that is urgent will get stamped. A hand delivered will get stamped. So that will include date and a time when we received it. So if there's any call back, we know exactly what time we received the sample. This is an integral part of the um, laboratory, day-to-day uh, um, -day working within a laboratory. Um, as you can see, there's a member of staff there. Um, what she is doing is booking in samples that arrive within the laboratory. The forms are all pink in colour, which indicate they are urgent samples and they're usually inpatients within the hospital. What she has to do is identify what samples they are, what tests they are, and then using different bar coloured barcodes she has to uh, correctly label the, the, the tube that has that barcode on and then book them into the system this is very very important as the samples will then get analysed according to the barcode so a pink barcode will be an EDTA or a full blood count test which is for the haematology a brown barcode will go onto the brown gel bottle which is for biochemistry some sample, uh, samples are required for centrifugation and that is for the test to be analyzed. For example, the biochemistry sample, the gel ones, we're using serum sample. That means a sample that has been clotted, whereas for coagulation, which is a green top sample, which we need the plasma, which means the clotting factors are still present. And there's a huge difference between both samples. That's why the sample requirement is crucial for the test, the appropriate test required by clinicians. As you can see, uh, are you recording that? As you can see, this is approximately approximately 100 samples of uh, coagulation samples. These are all green top, used primarily for testing INRs, which are INR is internationally normalized ratio for patients who are on treatment for warfarin. Warfarin is rat poison, which is used to thin blood down. In normal patients, we would, we would not need, a, not, an INR would be normal, but in a patient who's got conditions such as DVT, um, they have a, a tendency to clot rapidly, causing severe pains in the legs, in the arms, wherever a clot has dislodged. So by using warfarin, which thins the blood down, which then prevents these clots from regularly occurring, so uh, it prolongs the patient's life. Um, the, uh, the downside is that they need to be um, uh, weekly monitored so that they can be dosed appropriately. And obviously warfarin being a, a drug can be affected by other factors such as alcohol, paracetamol, anything that which affects the liver will affect the INR or the warfarin dose and that's why they have to be regularly tested.